This time on Heavy Pedal Garage, we're going to keep on working on the interior in this 1975 Firebird. I got the headliner installed and I just wanted to show you a little uh, project that I did on my dome light. It was so corroded and, and, and cracked and dry rotted that the terminals inside of the dome bezel cracked out. But I used the little th bits and pieces out of my junk drawer and we happened to make it work and we saved a bunch of money. So check this out. Just working on the headliner area here. First thing I did was some smart mat, followed by that 3M foam. And then finally, we got our headliner in, which it is got the plastic backer with the perforated pattern already on it. So that's looking pretty sharp, but I had problems with my dome light. So the dome light's kind of a critical piece in holding that headliner up. You really need to get the middle of that headliner anchored up with this so you can get the rest of it in, especially if you're by yourself. But anyways, that's not what caused the problem. This plastic was already brittle and these things broke out previous. I had super glued them in and the hold did not take. So I'm gonna back up and redo this. Instead of paying the you know $40 for a whole new cap bezel with the wiring and the fitting and socket, I had this in my scrap pile. So my grandpa was a complete hoarder and when he passed away, I got a lot of his stuff, which is super cool because he is one of the main reasons that I do what I do now. He used to take me as a little kid and we do all kinds of crazy fun projects. But anyways, this is a bunch of junk that I got from his workshop and I happen to have this in there. So we're basically just gonna cut this plastic out and then do a real good epoxy to get it to hold. Okay, so there we go. Got my rough cut made. So now I pretty much just need to trim out this piece and then adjust this piece to match. All right, so after some sanding and trimming, here's where we ended up. Should be pretty cool. We're just gonna go ahead and mix up some epoxy and get that all glued together. I was getting ready to zip this up in here and almost forgot to show you how it turned out. So there you go. One grandpa junk drawer piece scabbed in. Got my connection so it can be done and undone. So we're just gonna zip it up in there. And there you go. Good as new. So I'm hoping these wrinkles here settle down a little bit once it gets warmed up, but Looks pretty nice. So the headliner wrinkles in this thing are starting to settle down. It's looking really good. And the interior is going in, so you're gonna wanna stick around to see the seats and the carpet and all that good stuff get thrown back into this Firebird. But if you really wanna see how this headliner gets installed, go check out Backyard Garage. It's got a ton of good videos on his Camaro, second gen. And uh, you're gonna like the channel, so go ahead and subscribe while you're there and hit the like button on his stuff. Thinking of that, do the same for me if you don't mind. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. We've got a really good community here. And I appreciate the fact that you guys are willing to tune in, comment, subscribe, hit the like button, and all that good stuff. So keep it up. Thank you very much for all the support. And catch me next time.